Hello everyone, welcome back to my City Skylines tutorial videos. My name is Tabradra. Right now we have a problem in our city that's a big question that a lot of people ask, and that is, what happens when the industrial says there's not enough buyers for products? It usually denotes itself with a symbol right here, a little box of goods, and it pulses for a while. Either what happens is the building ends up becoming abandoned, because people can't take it anymore, or it usually ends up working out when a truck finally makes a delivery. Let me show you how to fix that. So for instance, in this city in particular, there's only one way in and out, and that's via this one interstate. This one interstate is servicing an industrial zone here, an industrial zone here, so there's no complaints on this side. Way out here though, we're getting complaints because they don't have a way to get goods in and out fast and efficiently. That's gonna be because of two reasons. One, the traffic flow going out of here is not ideal. And two, there's no outside connection. Industrial zones thrive on outside connections and that's what they require in order to keep growing and being happy. So you can fix this with a multitude of different ways. We're gonna show you at least one way and maybe go over a couple of others just to give you uh, options for when you're expanding your city. We're gonna do a quick save here of our archipelago city and we're gonna go with change number one and this is the fastest and easiest change that you can do and that is if your industrial zones next to water see if you can build a ship. What a shipyard will do is it will allow you to get goods in and out of the city without too much trouble. It's expensive but once you build it your industrial zone will love you for it, and then you can start expanding from there. So what we'll do is uh, we will put a road here, we're gonna lose some folks and put a road here and lose some folks. And then we're just gonna rezone industrial around here and watch them move in with the happiness, the happiness that they've always wanted. This is an over time improvement, but you can see there's buildings already starting to level up and people starting to move in because they're happy about the change. That's what they wanted. This also gives them an outside connection and it allows goods to be shipped in and out. That's gonna be your first solution and a, and a good way to get things started. We're gonna go ahead and take care of another way right now that also needs to be done to help fix traffic. Traffic is another issue that you encounter sometimes when you have industrial zones like that around the parts of a city that only have one way in and out. And if you watched my expert tutorial city video, we mentioned at one point that we were gonna have to take this interstate and put it throughout the city. And we don't have a lot of money right now. Uh, we're not playing with infinite money, but I will probably try to get this built really quick to show you the process I would go through to make it happen. Whenever I make major infrastructure changes to a city, I always pause the game only because I'm about ready to eliminate every way in and out of the city imaginable. And that's not a good thing. So we're gonna grab our bulldozer tool. And we're gonna take out these roads. We're gonna take out these roads. And we're gonna build an interstate. So these roads here that are that are lost, or these buildings that are lost with nowhere else to go, we'll find homes for them in the interim. They'll work their way out soon. Let's get the interstate built. I'm not gonna worry about the size or the height of the interstate as we go through this because this is merely just for tutorial purposes. You can fine tune how, how your interstate looks when everything is said and done. We're using the freeform tool because we're gonna be hugging islands. So we're gonna come out here. We're gonna snake our way through this. Uh, let me take this road right here out as well. Because we won't be needing that. Now we gotta make a decision. Do I wanna curl around this island? I do. So we're gonna take this road out and we're gonna take these roads out. Now you're probably thinking, all these cars are gonna crash. Oh no, everybody's gonna die. There's no one in those cars, this is a video game. Don't let it throw you. Okay, back to the interstate. So we'll snake it through here. Uh, let me turn back on the road snapping. I turned that off once upon a time. We'll snake it through here. We'll make it go around this way. Catch back up. Make a hard turn. Then we'll have it probably graze by this part of the island. And then I want it to go hard. Well, there's, there's gonna be boats there now. We might have to increase the height of our of our bridge just for the ships. I really don't want it to be a suspension if I can help it. Let me delete that. I really don't like suspension bridges in this game because you can't build on them. You can't make off ramps and on ramps unless you like heavily mod the game. 
So we're gonna go up high. We're gonna come around here. We're gonna hug the crescent. Just like that. And then after we come by here, we're gonna drop the road back down. And make our way back around. In fact, what I might do here is make this into a three-way. Now that we've got the interstate coming back over. And then we can have uh, those parts and pieces for future expansions. It's not enough room. So three ways are pretty neat. They're, they're a default way of, of adding in traffic and interchanges without causing too much issues with your current city layout. We'll change how this approaches here and we'll change how it exits out of there. I try to get it as close as possible. That way the change isn't too drastic. I really don't want a suspension bridge there if I can help it. Uh, I'm using a mod, I'm using a mod because it shouldn't have put a suspension bridge there. If you want a tutorial on how to use this tool, uh, go and look at my top five mods and that might give you some inspiration. If you want me to make an actual tutorial on the move it tool, let me know. We can go over that at a later date. So there's our interstate up and around, back down. Maybe I'll come by and kiss this island just in case we wanna expand over there in the future. And then I am back to there. Beautiful. So we're gonna do the other interstate the same way. Um, it doesn't have to match up exactly. It depends on what your preferences are in, in city building. Why is it trying to do a suspension everywhere? Yo, yo, that's, that's dumb. Can you stop? Are you really gonna do this to me? Cities, cities, hey. Hey, cities, stop it. I won't build one for curves, that's for sure. This is a lot shorter than this version. Uh, we're gonna come up here though. Start matching the height because we gotta get up here. <clears throat> On around. I think right there was a good place to go. Right there is good. Oh, now we gotta come back down. That's right. I think I wanna go there. Oh geez, that's not high enough at all. Welcome to the pain of building an interstate. <laughs> I know some people are just like, just use the movement tool to change the height. I don't want to. Let me be stubborn, okay? I'm bullheaded, I get that from my parents. I'm not afraid to admit it. But it also makes trying to figure things out like this even better. And besides that one straightening, I'm not using any mods. Technically that straightening would just be a rebuild of the same interstate over and over again until you got it to work correctly. But we, I just got done talking about mods, so I figured I would use it. Ah! Come on. Nope. That one's, see, see this, this is a mess. I don't like it. It's fine. Just keep going. Keep going. It, it doesn't, like, I already said it wasn't going to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. So let's take this interstate. Let's go here and connect. Boom. All right. Here's here's a rough sketch of what an interstate would look like in this area. I want to build an interchange here. All these buildings are sadly gone. We're no longer going to have industrial on this side. Bye everyone. Thanks for all the fish and, and things. And I wish you a, a, a future somewhere. We're going to build an off ramp here. 
on ramp here that's going to take care of those folks we also need to service coming off here and getting back on on that side so let's see if we can't entertain that just a bit so we'll curl this around we'll pop over we'll say hello that's going to be really bad. I would do not recommend building your interstate uh, interchanges like this. Please don't 100% go off of what I'm doing as, as factual, actual things to do. Uh, just know that building the overpass. Oh, that's really bad looking. <laughs> uh... Okay, let's reverse that. Okay, so there's an interchange there. It's not perfect. We'll do an interchange here. We're just trying to service these places now. That's all we're trying to do. So if I can get an off ramp and an on ramp here and then make those function. One, two, three. Snapping is getting on my nerves. I really, I don't like how aggressive the snapping is in by in default. I, I wish you can like set the sensitivity of the snapping, similar to like maybe Photoshop. That way, it doesn't just have to have be like everything all at once. Like if I turn this off, I can probably have a little more freedom. But I shouldn't have to turn it completely off to get freedom. I should be able just to... What? We had it. We had it. Right there. And then from there, we'll just do that. That gives us an on interchange there. I don't have an interchange here. I'm just going to let this... Uh, what do I do with this? I'm going to let... I'm going to delete this road here. We don't need this anymore. And I'm going to... I'm just going to have an interchange here that the vehicles are going to have to use, I suppose. That's the only way I can put it. So we're going to come off here. I can turn the road snapping back on for now. Let's go off here and we'll get back on there. I know, the residences don't like it because it's noise pollution. Yes, I had to go higher. Okay, that was my problem the whole time. All right, there's that one. And then this one's going to come across and do the same thing, probably. I'm just going to go, I'm just going to go really high this time. That way there's no question that I'm high enough. Yeah, no, yeah. Nope. Nope. Game doesn't like me. You just gave me one. Look at that. The, the freaking pillars right there in between. It won't let me. Give me the connection. Please hold while we connect your roads. All right. Try this again. It. Hey, 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 let me do it. All right, cool. So there's the interchange there. Uh, this power plant no longer has an interchange. We're probably going to have to service that somehow. So I'm going to put an off ramp here and an on ramp over here. That doesn't seem very financially. That didn't make any sense. Uh, we can just change where all that goes for now. What is it? Water, fire, and, uh, cemetery? Necessary changes have to be made. I'm not gonna relocate. Actually, I probably should have relocated. We only have $100,000. We'll figure something out. Uh, hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's go here. Solar power, solar power. I guess we'll put it here. They're expensive, right? 
Let me check my power everywhere else before I start going crazy. I think. Oh, well, I only have ten thousand dollars left. <laughs> I have loads, right? I don't have loans. Oh, this is not going to be good at all. Well, this isn't good. Okay, so let's get some power lines connected. They're all connected here. They are not connected to anyone anymore. Can I go across the road here? And connect there. This power line is a waste. Go to my budget. I take that budget. Nope, not that budget. This budget all the way down. I need an on-ramp and an off-ramp here. This is a starter. So we will go... Boo. <laughs> We're gonna go boo! I'll go on here. And off... Nope. Off here. Yep, 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 yep. And then... Oh, can I go? Can I go under? Well, oh, that would be ideal. Oh, that would be beautiful if I could do that. No! I'm gonna go under here. Nice. All right, that looks good. And then this other one can go under here. Yeah. Bam. Okay, so there's an interchange there. I've got 14,000. I can put another interchange over here, which is our industrial area. So this is gonna be kind of close to the boats. You can change it however you want, but this will be our on-ramp, off-ramp. And from here, we can go under to make that. And then we can go under here to make this one. Beautiful. All right, make sure everything's connected. Everything is connected. We're gonna hit play and we're gonna watch everything get angry and also grow. These vehicles are gonna disappear, so get ready for them. Hey, they all disappeared. Okay, give it a second for these interchanges to work their way out. Give this industrial zone a chance to be happy. And that gives them two places to get vehicles in and out. And they're using it already. This has become a prime location for places. This should make our city... We're going to get backups here, obviously. Uh, once we get all the traffic flushed out, it should work pretty well, though. There's our ingestion. That's working really smooth. You see people using the interstate over here on this end. They're going all the way around, guys. It's a beautiful thing. Now, how I would fix this is change this to a one-way, but giving them a way in and out to bring goods to people all over the area will take away them complaining about not having enough customers for their goods. In fact, they're leveling up and they're building more places because they know now that they're perfectly set up and ready to go. This makes for a healthy, healthy industrial zone. Now this, not enough educated workers that is going to be something that takes over time with your education system. Just make sure you're covered. And as time goes by, they'll get smart and move in there. Everything's leveling up. Everything's happy. Is everything level three? Everything is level three. Max level industrial. Educate more citizens. That, that happens over time. But they're, they, there's how you make your industrial zone happy. You give them outside connections. You give them what they want. And then, as you can see, we have a demand now for industrial. They want more. The ones here is complaining. The one here is complaining. We now have $131,000. We can go pay back some of our loans that we've got. Pay now. We'll pay the other ones here in a minute. We're making 20 grand a week. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. The traffic has improved. Vehicles are coming in and out. These guys are going to work. There's no commercial or industrial here. These places here. That's a little packed. 
It's because these cars are going all the way through to this point here. If I build another interchange here, maybe, or have them feed off of this, it would help out. Maybe I should need that bypass road again. That way these guys have somewhere to go and breathe. That fix itself. This fix itself. And the city is going to start working on growing here in just a little bit. That's how you take care of that. That's just going to have to take time. They'll, they'll get over it themselves. Look how happy and booming this industrial zone is. Places are leveling up. Level 3, level 3. Max workers. That one's not max. They want more education. Yeah. There you go. There's the boats. That's how you do it. If you have any questions about that, feel free to let me know. We can work on some other things in the future as they pop up in my cities. Those are your secrets and solutions to having a tip top shape industrial zone. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments or you can come by my live stream. I stream on Twitch five days a week. We do cities on Fridays and Saturdays, but you can come in at any time and ask a city skylines related question. I do not mind answering it. May your industrial zones do well and may your outside connections make sense. Those are keys to having a healthy and beautiful city. Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe if you want more content, and I will see you guys later. Good night.